Hello, my name is Jean-Christophe Sintier. I'm a senior technical evangelist uh, with Microsoft. And today I want to do a quick demo of the OpenXML document viewer. To get started, just uh, let's take a look uh, at the overall architecture. The OpenXML document viewer is actually an OpenXML 2 HTML translator. And the goal of this project is to basically enable viewing experience of uh, OpenXML documents on any kind of uh, platform using uh, the default browser. So the project is built uh, in a, with multiple layers. The core layer basically is a translation engine. And on top of this layer, the, we've built on the project two components. One is a command line interface, and the other one is a browser add-in, the one I'm going to show you right after. But keep in mind that this is a very modular architecture, and you can look at one of the other demo I, I've produced showing how you can embed this component into a, a web-based application, enabling viewing OpenXML documents on the fly. So now let's move to the demonstration. Okay, so to set the stage of this demonstration, let's start first uh, by looking at the OpenXML document that we're going to use uh, through the translation process. So this document includes a lot of different kind of formatting, as you can see with uh, background color on the table, different kind of fonts, formatting colors, uh, using lists, different kind of paragraph formatting, um, a table of content and images, which are now supported in this uh, newer CTP. So now, uh, let's imagine uh, a situation where you don't have Microsoft Office and you don't have any other suite that can open OpenXML uh, documents. So one of the solutions is to use this new plugin that is available on the OpenXML Viewer project. So let's take a look first at the project site, which is on codeplex slash OpenXML Viewer. And then you go to the download section and we'll start the demo with the Windows plugin and I follow up with the Linux plugin. So let's just save it. Okay, and so I have already unzipped uh, the plugin, and the plugin basically comes as a form as a default uh, Firefox plugin, this XPI file, and uh, the way to install it is simply to open it with Firefox. And then I just install it. All right, I restart Firefox. Okay, and then I go back to my test file. So here is the OpenXML file. I just drop it in Firefox and what happened next here you go the plugin translates the OpenXML file into HTML and then Firefox is able to display this uh, the result so as you can see most of, of the formatting is preserved and of, of course uh, this CTP um, includes a lot of new features but uh, additional formatting uh, and translation um, options will be available as the project move forward so now let's switch to another machine and, and I'm going to show you uh, the a similar experience on the Linux uh, box. Okay, so now we've flipped over to the OpenSUSE Linux box, which happens to run on Hyper-V. So I'm going to bring up uh, Firefox and uh, I want to show you very quickly that I have installed the OpenXML Viewer add-in so that uh, Firefox is now ready to go. Let me bring up the OpenXML sample file I used previously. Just drag and drop it in Firefox and it kicks off the translation and the add-on returns the HTML file, which you can see now. And of course, the result is uh, the same than the one you saw on the Windows and Firefox box. Well, thank you for your attention. And of course, if you want uh, more information and more detail about this project, go to simply uh, cutplex.com slash openxmlviewer.